Okay, here we are. My name is Matteo Ferretti. During this uh, presentation, I will show you the state of the smart contract in uh, Dusk, and especially the tools we are using the, to write them. First of all, our contract are running in our VM that is called Rusk. So Rusk VM that is powered by WebAssembly and Rust. Why Rust? Basically because it has predictable performance, small code size, and there is no garbage collector. And that's basically the whole point to have small code size and predictable performance. This is an example in plain Rust of a smart contract that you can have in Rusk VM. As you can see, writing smart contract directly in Rusk is not exactly user friendly because we can do it better. And that's why we're introducing Cake. Cake is a sugar syntax way to write Rusk smart contract using Rust language. Why Cake? Well, in some culture, Rusk is made of cake rather than bread, and this is something referred to as Cake Rusk. This is the same code in Cake. As you can see, it's removed a lot of boilerplate. Cake looks like regular code. It's really, really similar to any Rust code without any of the ABI idiosyncrasy. As versioning, as I can show you, we have this contract is written with version 0.0.1 .0 of Cake and is an abstraction over the ABI. Therefore, we don't need to change the, the VM to make any improvement or uh, change to our contract language. How to bake a Cake contract? There is, of course, a cargo bake command. I can show you. Let's take one step at a time. Remove bake from the equation. Both Cake and bake are utilities in a way. Cake helps to write in a simpler language, the contract. The bake helps to abstract some equation. I could actually, let's go back to the, the factorial, let's say. It is really simple. So this is currently the factorial written with cake. I could actually write directly this one. Let's see. Okay, so this is the same code. So this is the factorial that I wrote. This is the factorial that the VM executes. So I can write this, it's not a problem. If I write directly this, I don't need a cake. I can just do this stuff, but it's more complex. And this is just for the factorial. So more accounts become complex, more code you have to write. What we want to do is abstract this complexity from the developer. It doesn't need to, to learn this stuff. You can't just write a regular factorial here. Okay, so this is cake. What bake does is different. You can build both. So cake and non-cake contract, you can build without bake. However, bake, it will help you for certain operation, specifically, when you have inter-contract call, when you have dependencies between contracts. It will help you to resolve these dependencies and make the code that you write easier to read, but only when you have inter-contract call. So if your contract never call other contract, probably may bake can, can also be skipped. You can see bake as kind of dependency manager or something like that. In our GitHub repo, you can see the source code, the documentation. And well, if you have any question, just contact me. 